What's going on guys, it's Craig with Take360. Today we're going to talk about how to get 110 volts from a 220 volt plug. Alright, so about two and a half, maybe three years ago, I made this video and I decided to go ahead and make it again because uh, I've had a lot of questions about it over the, over the years and I know the first video I made wasn't very descriptive. It was just kind of short and sweet to the point. I've gotten a lot of views. I appreciate all your views on that video, guys. I really do. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you guys are commenting. I'm glad it's helped out a lot of people. Now, this next video is going to be a little more descriptive about certain things that people have asked me about, certain style of plugs. Uh, one in particular because they've had you know this big 220-volt plug, but they have this 220-volt plug that they want to run a, like a window unit with and how to wire this in, how to do this, blah, blah, blah. So I'm I'm going to show you guys how to do that as well as a regular house plug so you're more than welcome to pause any of these clips and keep them and use them for your personal use i do not recommend you copying them and use them in another video because if i find them i will flag you so copy them keep them for your personal use keep them for you know your work whatever it may be i hope to help you out so let's get started all right, so here's your basic standard house plug okay you know this, you know a lot of the dryer plugs stuff like that they're all different shapes and sizes uh, and they're all different styles but let's say you have this dryer plug okay now you look at it right here 110 volts ground neutral and 110 volts now neutral is going to be gray just so you can see it in this particular video but so let's say you you know we want to uh, make a jumper or something you know for this now this is for a specific uh, people that have asked about this they want to make a jumper for like their their own tools or you know or other appliances or window units so let's take this plug right here this is one that a lot of people ask for so we're going to take this plug and we're going to make it work with this 220 volt plug now here's how we're going to do it okay we're going to take we're going to take this plug and we're going to basically obviously you know just follow the diagram screenshot if you have to follow the diagram green to green you know follow the black black to black but black just remember the placement of the plug so you do not get them backwards and they will be right for you i've used this before and gave it to people and it's helped them out so now let's say you have this plug and you just don't use it at all anymore it's just sitting there you don't use it, collecting dust bugs are crawling out of it, and you just want to delete that plug all together and put a different plug that you can actually use there so let's show you how to do that so what we're going to do is we're going to pull the plug out of the wall take the plug off and we're going to straighten out all the wires like this you get your 110 your 110 volts ground neutral and 110 volts there okay so once you get your box mounted or whatever you want to do and you want to run your cable over to it so here's what we're going to do we're going to take this plug regular standard house 110 volt plug you know 15 20 amp plug nothing extravagant it's not too hard don't get intimidated so here's how we're going to do it like i said once you get your wires ran over to this box you know or you can get your plug hooked up and everything else this is how we're going to do it we're going to take your neutral and we're going to run it to the left side of the plug which is the bigger port we're going to take that black which is the smaller port so it basically makes your 110 volts and kind of like a ground almost and your neutral so you got your 110 volts your neutral and then there's your basically your 110 volt plug you're good to go make sure you hook the ground in and make sure you also cap off that other wire that red wire that's another hot you do not want that thing live and loose in this box because it may short out cause you a lot of problems and headaches that you do not want and could burn your house down so all right guys so i hope that video helped you out some i know it was kind of fast uh like i said i try to make these videos fast for you guys so because i know you guys are probably in a hurry you're trying to get these things figured out and you don't want to watch these 15 20 minute long videos on how to do this okay i hope this video helped you out use the pictures if you need them questions or comments man comment below don't argue don't fight i'll do my best to get back with you guys if you want another video comment in the comment section put hashtag video how to this this and this and that and i'll do my best once i get enough videos or video requests i'll make another video for you guys on how to do this so until next time guys 